Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Esperanza. I am a full-time content creator with a background in interior design, living in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania with my fiance Skyler and our Labrador Indio who is here vlogging with me today. Oh my gosh, Indio, say hi. So you guys might hear him making little noises throughout this video. He likes to be with me pretty much at all times. Ooh, he loves his ear rubs, huh? So we have been living in Pittsburgh for about two years now. Before that, we were actually living in Nashville and before that, Portland, but we are originally from Eastern Washington. If you guys are new here, I cover content in the lifestyle categories of travel, home, fashion, but also sometimes DIY, lots of fun stuff. And I also cover all of that content on my socials at The Urban Darling and my blog with urbandarling.com as well so be sure to check those out if you guys aren't subscribed already please be sure to subscribe to my channel and also turn on your bell notifications so that you'll be notified whenever i have a new video i upload two vlogs a week friday and sunday with shorts in between so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys my thrifted baby clothing collection before we get into the video please make sure that you guys are subscribed to my channel and that you have your notifications turned on so that you'll be notified whenever i have a new video i upload two vlogs a week friday and sunday with shorts in between so i'm actually filming my vlogs this week on sunday because this is pretty much the only day that we're supposed to be getting sun here in pittsburgh so luckily i have a beautiful day of sun so the lighting is going to be great for these videos so i have about nine pieces in my collection right now a lot of which are vintage but a few of them are actually from like name brand stores that are a little bit more current so it's just a mix of baby girl and boy clothing and a lot of pieces that are pretty gender neutral my fiance skylar and i are actually hoping to be able to finally start our family next year so being able to have our first baby which is super exciting obviously we still need to get married first we have been trying to figure out what we wanted to do for our wedding we were playing around with like the idea of doing a destination wedding which is still what we'll probably do but we're not a hundred percent sure on the location yet we've gone back and forth like so many times but hopefully 2023 will be our year i've always wanted to have baby boys so a lot of the pieces I picked up are for boys, but I did pick up a few pieces for girls just in case we end up having a baby girl, you never know. So I couldn't help but pick up a few baby girl clothing pieces when I saw some cute finds. And these are all thrifted from the Goodwill bins here in Pittsburgh. Okay, so I'll start off with the baby girl clothing because I only have two pieces right now. But the first one is this really cute little onesie from Just One You, made by Carter's 3M, so for a three-month-old baby. So it's this really sweet little onesie with um, a pretty floral pattern, just like a really dainty floral pattern in the yellow, green, and white color palette, which I think is so sweet. This is definitely something that I would dress my baby girl in, just like a very simple floral print in neutral colors if you guys didn't know already i love my neutrals i've also picked up this wonder nation 3t so this is actually for a toddler this cute little overall dress i love the green color and i love these little wood buttons so that is something that would be super adorable for a little girl and it would actually look really cute with this little onesie even though this is for a three month old baby but in general something like that like a t-shirt in that same kind of style or print under this little overall dress would be so so cute so this would be a piece for a little bit later but this would be one that we could use right away Okay, so moving on to the baby boy clothing, I'm gonna first show you guys the pieces that are current name brand, and then I'll show you guys the vintage finds. Okay, so first up is this cute little pair of joggers from H&M. They are for an 18 month old. So super, super cute little comfy pants. I love the cream drawstring and they're just like in a really kind of neutral sage green. 
cute little sweatpants, actually joggers, I guess, because this is more of a jogger style in the front with like these little pockets. And then um, at the at the bottom of the pants, the hem is like more of a jogger style. On the side, it says casual style is dated 1947. So these could definitely be gender neutral though. And 18 months, I guess that's like a little over a year old. So another thing that we could use relatively soon. And that could be worn for either a boy, baby boy or baby girl. Next up are these little pants from Granimals. These are also for an 18 month old. They're these khaki kind of like casual pants. Super, super cute. Love the little waistband, the drawstring. It's got cute little pockets in the front. Oh, actually, they're not real pockets. And then um, little pockets on the butt. How cute are those? So these would be super cute for a little boy. I guess they're pretty gender neutral also. Okay, so here's a similar style, but in more of a cargo pant. So very, very cute. It's got no pockets on the little butt, but there are these side pockets that give it that like cargo style feel, but they are in a corduroy material, but still also that khaki. So these are very cute for kind of like dressing up your little baby boy. So perfect options for pants. I also picked up these little vintage inspired um, denim overalls in this blue pinstripe pattern. Looks like they have a little bit of like fading or discoloration in the front, unless that was designed to look that way. I'm assuming it probably is a little bit like color faded or stained. These are um, from Made With Love by Place, zero to three month old. So another piece that could actually be worn right away. I think these are really cute. And even though they're a little color faded, I, I think you wouldn't be able to tell very much. And they're very gender neutral. So these would be cute for a little baby boy or baby girl. Okay, so moving on to my vintage finds. First up is this pair of Levi's. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. So I found this little tag that says little Levi's name, phone number that you can like fill out. That's so cute. And then um, the tab says 550 relaxed fit slim five. So I guess that's for a five year old. Although it just depends because different babies and toddlers and children grow at like different stages. So I'm not a hundred percent sure at what stage we'd be able to use this at. Um, but probably not until they were more of like a kindergarten age. They do look kind of big now that I'm looking at them this way. So for a little bit older than a toddler, more up into like kindergarten age. But they are so, so cool. And they have the orange tab. So these were an awesome, awesome thrift find. I also love that they're kind of worn in a little bit and have that kind of like vintagey distressed look. And these are also gender neutral, so they'd be really cute for either a boy or a girl. Okay, so this was another lucky find. So these are actually vintage guess overalls. I'm guessing that both of these were from like the 90s. These look very, very 90s to me. So they're denim overalls. They have the cute little guess tab on the butt and um i like this little loop detail i don't know what you would use that for but still gives the overalls kind of like a cool interesting detail and then i love that little patch on the front too that looks like very 80s very 90s not 100 percent sure Here's the, here's the tab inside. It says baby guess 12 M. So for a 12 month old, so for a year, so a year old, one year old baby, 100% cost. Nice. So those are super, super cute and also very gender neutral. Oh, I love that they have these little pockets too. And then lastly is this little crocheted 
hand knit wool sweater in this beautiful pattern. I love the details. The colors in it are super cute, very neutral, gray, dark brown, cream, kind of little mix of colors. These little knitted hearts are so, so cute. Such a fun pattern too. It definitely reminds me of like, I don't know, like the East Coast or maybe like England or Ireland or something. It's just such a cute little wool sweater. So this was also an amazing find. I'm not 100% sure what age this would be for. There aren't any labels or anything like that since it was hand knit, I'm sure. But I think this would be closer to like a 12 to 18 month old. And like I said, very gender neutral. So we could use it for either baby boy or a baby girl. Okay, so that is my thrifted baby clothing collection. I actually haven't thrifted anything new since earlier this year. I think that was a lot of the stuff I picked up in the spring, early summer. So I definitely want to add more in my collection once we get a little bit closer to the time that we're going to start trying for a baby. And I'm also hoping to thrift like cute little wood toys and just kind of like more neutral or like Montessori style toys. I've actually thrifted a few before, but I've just sold them in my Etsy shop, Urban Darling shop. I do have one item, which is a vintage like little wood rocking chair that I have styled in one of my bookcases, although that is up in my shop as well, but that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. I think they would look so cute in the little boho style nursery. So hopefully I'll be thrifting more stuff like that in the new year. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also comment down below and let me know if you guys enjoy thrifting or have thrifted for baby clothing. So this vlog will be going up on Friday, but be sure to check back for Sunday's vlog which will be a closet clean out video. And don't forget to check me out on my other socials at Thurman Darling and my blog ThurmanDarling.com for more content like this. And if you guys know of anyone that you think would enjoy my YouTube channel, please be sure to share it with them. That way you guys can help me grow my YouTube channel. I really appreciate all the support I can get. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in Sunday's vlog. Bye!